I'm a child actor, and my mom has always been in the industry. She's a producer for commercials. And when I was six, um, she had them come to our house and, and shoot a commercial for Dove, a Dove campaign. And they needed some B-roll of like a little girl feeling, you know, self-conscious. And so I did a couple things for them. And at the end of the day, the director came up to my mom and was like, you know, your daughter's pretty directable. You should get her an agent. Um, and she did. And I've been with the same guy ever since. I love all art forms, of course, but I find that there's something really magical about film. And, and I love that so many people have to come together in order to create a film. You need a sound person, you need a mixer, you need a cinematographer, a director, a vision, a, a wardrobe. Like everyone has to come together and work together. And that's what I think is magical because when you have an end product and you just know everyone on that set was giving it their all, that's when you get incredible stuff. And I really like being part of that. Yeah, okay, so I, I heard this awesome quote. They basically said, what people don't realize is acting isn't stepping into another character, it's a character stepping out of you. Getting to find those parts of me that connect to certain characters is fascinating because I always learn something new about myself. Um, I never thought I was going to be someone brave and I never thought I was going to be someone who could command a room. And then when I booked Max on Ginny and Georgia, it was like a wake up call that that is something I'm capable of and that's something I can do and actually love. I was on a show, a sci-fi show, where they had to sew my eyes shut. Like my character's eyes were sewn shut. The team messaged me and they were like, so you know you're gonna have a complete vision block, right? Like we're putting prosthetics over your eyes. You're gonna not be able to see. Anyways, got to set, they had me in at like 4 a.m., took two hours to put the prosthetics on, and then I had a full like 12 hour shoot day. My mom was with, with, with me, she was like literally taking me to the bathroom, she was helping me out, and people would come up and wire me and be touching me, I didn't know who they were because my eyes were closed. It was so terrifying, I had like three panic attacks, I was bawling, like, it was just such a bad experience. Sometimes, when you're really in it, the cameras literally disappear. Like in your mind, the cameras actually disappear. I've had that twice. In my 16, 17 years of doing this, I've had it only twice. Once was on Ginny in Georgia. I'm terrified of improv. And me and Tony, who plays Ginny, we, we just sat on the floor and created a scene out of thin air, which was literally my biggest fear. And we were so in it. I literally don't even remember there being cameras. It was just her and me, and we were just so connected in that moment. And then the other was just this past month, uh, it was me and three others and we were doing a really high stakes emotional scene and we all just like the energy shifted we were in it we were zoned in and the cameras disappeared and we all just became our, our characters entirely and it was it, it blew my mind I work out a ton that's a really great thing endorphins those are great I spin and also I write outside of acting which is really helpful I feel like I'm always going to be balancing the rush of work and then the, the slow period. I didn't work at all last year, and that was really, really hard. Um, and I think that what's even weirder is like when, when Ginny and Georgia came out, everyone was looking at me like I was some kind of like working actor who like never stopped. And I was like, no, I, I'm unemployed right now. I, I feel like ass. But this is the first year where I've actually had to like learn all that stuff because I've had school my whole life. And so when I wasn't acting, I could focus on school. And I think that also made the rejection easier for me because I was like, well, I can focus on school. Now I'm out in the world and when I don't book something, I'm like, well, I'm unemployed and that's hard. When I went to school for writing, that's when I really started paying attention to story as a whole. I think when you grow up acting, you're focusing on your character and your character alone. But understanding story and how each character foils another and, and how they all kind of weave together to make a theme and, and to, to kind of portray one singular message, I think that's the real beauty of what we do. My mentor, Deb Fisher, who uh, is a producer for Ginny and Georgia, she told me, you need to write what you would write if no one else was watching and if no one else would ever see it. What would you want to write? What would you want to see? And that ended up helping me kind of write something that I'm finally really proud of. My social presence has blown up recently and I, that terrifies me. I've had to delete Instagram off my phone so often just because I can't deal with it, can't deal with Twitter, can't deal with it at all. And it scares me too because if I show who I am entirely, 
I'm scared that a casting director is gonna look at my page and see like me, you know, smiling with my family and be like, well, she can't play a drug addict. And I wanna be able to do all those things. So I, I actually think building your brand is a bad thing. I would say it's a really hard job and you have to have gratitude every day. Even in the moments where you feel like you're not grateful, you need to find a way to be grateful because there are people who work their asses off every single day and go to school for one thing and they become that one thing and they do that thing for 50 years and then they retire. And what we get to do, what we get to experience is this whole slew of different roles and different jobs and different amazing things that are gonna make our lives so rich. And so you just have to be so grateful even in the moments where it's painful and where you get told no, that's hard. Rejection sucks, I, I'm still dealing with that, but it's part of it and the rejections make the good times so much better. And I'd say don't give up. The people I know who have given it their all are rewarded and so I would say stay in it and be grateful. Mm -hmm.